Hello everyone and welcome to the Zone of Tech and also to my fifth episode of my iOS 7 features review. So uh, in this episode I will be taking a look at, yeah, iRadio or iTunes Radio as uh, Apple likes to call it. So let's take a look at the new iRadio from, uh, from Apple. Enjoy. Okay, so to go into iRadio, all you have to do is open up the music app, but there's a catch. You have to be in the US to use iRadio. But guess what? I am not in the US. I was in the United Kingdom a couple of weeks ago, now I'm back home, which is Romania. Uh, because yeah, I'm a Romanian. Anyway, um, I'm not in the US, but I'm still able to use iRadio. <laughs> uh, so I found a way to, uh, I found a way of using iRadio. Uh, while you're not in the US. So just click the annotation above. I know this is a bit confusing having a billion annotations on the screen, but anyway, <laughs> uh, just go to the annotation above, click the annotation above, and you'll be taken to my video in which I tell you how to use iRadio outside the United States. So uh, anyway, let's take a look at iRadio. So uh, as I said, all you have to do is go into the music app in iOS 7, and you will see this tab here, which is radio. So uh, click radio, and you'll see this this menu with a couple of stations so uh, these are all the stations you can choose from so as you can see I have I have uh, 80s dance music pop hits uh, decades of iTunes blah blah alternatives anyway I can add new stations if I want to and once again we have this second layer transparent feel and look in iRadio uh, and just in case you have missed my design review of iOS 7 just click the annotation above and you will be taken to my design um, design video, so uh, uh, let's choose. I know metal, yeah, metal radio. There we go. Click plus, and now we should hear some metal music. Hopefully, this is going to be really loud. Anyway, so this is basically how it goes. So uh, you can favorite a song, you can skip to the next one, you can play a song, obviously, you can buy the song, and you can hit this info button, uh, which tells you when a song was released, which is 2007 in this case, uh, and that's that's pretty much it. Now, let's choose a different station, which is Pop Hits, in this case. And no, not Taylor Swift, let's change to something different. Uh, no. I hope my video won't be taken down. Oh, as you can see, this is uh, this is an ad because uh, iRadio is ad supported. That's how <laughs> Apple makes money from. Yeah, so th this is pretty much how iRadio works. So you can uh, you can skip through different songs. Now every third song, I believe, you get an uh, an ad from Apple, but. As you probably saw uh, before, the ad isn't that long. It's only like a five second ad, so I, I think it's pretty much worth it. Uh, do you know Spotify? Because this is this is pretty much the same as Spotify. The only difference being that, uh, yeah, it's uh, the ads are a lot shorter, so you won't have I have to wait like minutes uh, for for the ads for the ads to run. Instead, you will just have to wait like a couple of seconds. Oh, I cannot skip anymore, that's weird. Come on Apple, let me skip. Uh, probably I have to wait for an ad to finish uh, to run after this uh, the song for me to be able to skip the song. Anyway, so this was my review of iRadio or iTunes Radio for iOS 7. Once again, you need to be in the United States to use iRadio for now, but I have found a way of using iRadio without being in the US because I'm not in the US at the moment. So just click the annotation above and you will be taken to that video. And uh, once again, just in case you have missed my other features, I have covered a bunch of features. As you can see on the screen, I have covered uh, the control center, notification center, multitasking, Siri, uh, find my iPhone and iOS in the car. So uh, this is pretty much it. So thank you again for watching this video and I will see you, I will see you in the next one. Once again, thank you all for watching this video. Uh, don't forget to subscribe to my channel Zone of Tech for more iOS 7 related videos. Uh, give me a like if you enjoyed this video because it helps me out a lot. 
And also check out my other videos of the series, other iOS 7 review videos, such as the iOS 7 apps review, uh, iOS 7 full review, which is my main video of the series, and iOS 7 features review. Don't forget, all of these videos are, um, all of them are interactive videos, meaning that you will be able to click on specific apps in those videos, uh, which will take you to that specific video. So once again, thank you all for watching. I have a question for you before you go, uh, which is have you installed iOS 7 on your iOS device? Because in my case, that's uh, definitely yes. Uh, so once again, thank you for watching this video. I think I said this like a billion times. Uh, don't forget to give me a like on Facebook, follow me on Twitter via Zone of Tech, check out my previous videos such as the Samsung Galaxy S4 Mini Review and how to install iOS 7 for free on your, on your iOS device if you haven't already done that. Uh, so once again, I think this is the 15th time I'm saying this. Uh, thank you all for watching this video. Uh, I'll see you in the next one and until then, until then, you know, like as always, cheers.